if Christian women enter a Muslim household, she shall be received with kindness, and she shall be given opportunity to pray in her church, there shall be no dispute between her and a man who loves her religion. No Christian shall be brought by force to confess Islam, and no disputes except over the better things shall be envisaged in with them. Muslims shall extend over the Christians everywhere the arm of mercy and kindness, protecting them from the exact ions of oppressors. Amongst the friends of Allah, Alia, the Quran is considered as a love letter from Allah, which inevitably is read continuously to remind them of their beloved. The strongest man is the one who, when he gets angry and his face reddens and his hackles rise, is able to defeat his anger. The most excellent jihad is the conquest of oneself. This world is a prison for the believers and a paradise for the non-believers. When two persons are together, two of them must not whisper to each other, without letting the third hear. Because it would hurt him. Verily, it is one of the respects to Allah to honor an old man. Kindness is a mark of faith, and whoever has not kindness has not faith. Four things support the world, the learning of the wise, the justice of the great, the prayers of the good, and the valor of the brave. The most perfect man in his faith among the believers in the one whose behavior is most excellent and the best of you are those you are the best to their wives. To overcome evil with good is good, to resist evil by evil is evil. All pious believers shall deem it their bounden duty to defend believers and to aid them wheresoever they may be, whether far or near, and throughout Christendom shall protect the places where they conduct worship and those where their monks and priests dwell. Feed the hungry, visit the sick, set free captives. Do not wish to be like anyone except in two cases. The first is a person, whom Allah has given wealth. And he spends it righteously, the second is, the one whom Allah has given wisdom, the Holy Quran, and he. I leave behind me two things, the Quran and my Sunnah and if you follow these you will never go astray. <laughs>